Oops, that was supposed to be a disadvantage. Sorry, let me roll. Oh, no give you another attack. Oh, I thought the uh, in Fantasy Grounds that dis was disrespectful. So I thought when you wanted to disrespect somebody when you attacked, you click that. Okay, so we'll we'll take the nine, which is a miss. Uh, and that is, she will actually back up some. And it looks like she's like reaching for a some kind of uh, a dart or maybe a throwing dagger in her cloak, her pawah. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Warner. What was she gonna do now? Man. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna attack the drow. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a chance with this. So, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack with Talon. Hopefully, I can hit. All right. I am also going to draw the power of divine smite from my deity so i will drop that on myself and i will roll damage now all right smite away Ugh, oh, okay. not, not a great roll but but still a, a powerful one so yeah, yeah. you clobbered her pretty good she uh, falls back in pain and surprise that you could move that quickly when you're uh, strike is empowered by your uh, Lord Morden. Anything else? Any movement? That's it? No. Brax. Hmm. Do I know anything about drows? Do a light on their eyes or something? Uh, you know that they are creatures of the Underdark. Um, they do not like light. Usually do not function very well in light. Um, you know that they are dangerous and cruel and vicious. And that any that you see outside of a drow city is going to be a very well-trained warrior of some kind. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll I'll, uh, I'll uh, just go with the firebolt, I guess. All my spells have been exhausted from, I guess, last time. Uh, hold on, worm. Oh, sorry about that. Oh. You go ahead. That, you can keep that hit. That's fine. Uh, but during the short rest, you would have used your um, arcane recovery feat or feature. So what short rest. Well, we had a short we rest. Have a, we had a short rest before we started this fight. Oh, Zammer Flammer. So I think I think that didn't get updated on your sheet um, to take. It. Okay. To yeah. Take well, that's... So you do have, I guess, your third level. So it would be a. Is it just a one a first level slot or maybe second level slot? I don't know. But I think it's a half rounded, rounded up. I think a half level rounded yeah, up. Yeah, I think you only get um, two anyway, spell so, levels worth yeah, of spell slots. You get two spell levels, so you can do um, you can add those to your sheet. And but you can you can keep this hit if you want if you want to just roll damage. Yeah. So so what are you saying is that I, I normally I have four slots for first and two for second. So what does this do? So you can you either two have spell one... level slots. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. So you can either have one second level spell slot or two first level spell slots. Um, uh, wow. Using your arcane recovery feature. I think I'm gonna go with two first level. Okay. Yeah. So okay, but I'm I'm gonna that. keep this one since I actually yep. hit with a seventeen. I thought that was pretty sweet. Yeah. No problem. Okay, a little better. Better than the two. Chipping away at her. Uh, anything else? Any movement? I don't think so. I think if I move out of the way, then they'll go out of the line of sight, so I don't want to mess that up. Okay, King Kroll. He's going to make another swipe at uh, Warner here. That's a miss. Uh, you're happy he missed. Trust me. I'm very happy. Uh, Snarl, though, he's he's no longer interested in you, Warner. He's interested in this giant bear. I like that. So he's going to attack the bear. I really like that, to be honest. 
Thanks, bro, for softening the blow. Ah, uh, misses, misses both times. So, Wants, if you want him to keep going after Snarl here? I would say let's kind of focus on King Roll. Okay, you can do that. Oh, good. Then I can make a pet out of the wolf afterwards. A fushi voo voo. Yeah. Come here, puppy, puppy. A fushi voo voo. A bushy baby. Both are misses, okay. unfortunately. I will admit, I baby talk to animals. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid and we got a beagle. My dad has always been this, like, stern, you know, <laughs> man. And this guy just melted to a baby beagle. And he's going, he's a good boy. And I'm going, what the? That's my dad? <laughs> I was like, I'm not scared of you anymore, man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, baby bugles are, or, or beagles are pretty cute. Though. Yeah, pretty cute. and then like a year later, later, he let his friend from work take him hunting, and, and he got bit in the eye by a rattlesnake, so it died. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Talk about devastating. Yeah. All right, uh, Adira. Uh -oh. All right, time to let go of another arrow. Who's gonna die? Who's gonna die? <laughs> yeah, nice. <That's> good. <laughs> All right, wow. Good. Yeah. Wow. We came to get our friend. Give him up you now. Keep hitting him in that same spot, you know. It's like thunk, thunk, thunk. Yeah, he's uh, he's coughing up blood now, and and is he's not happy. You think he wants to kill one? Give us our so friend, and we can leave in peace. Your friend's already dead. Uh, You'll yeah. join him. So it's the drow's turn, and she's gonna make a couple attacks. Oh boy. Yes. Yeah. Nighty night. Minimum damage. So oh, good. wow. But she she gets two attacks, so. Oh, ah, I survived. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I'm going to reciprocate that. And do we start advantage with a, uh, do we start with inspiration during the session or no? Uh, yeah, you guys can have inspiration here. Absolutely. Uh, you're the best. Well, I'm going to use mine right now, if you don't mind, because I'm going to draw sure. inspiration from Belle's puppy talk that I am going to attack. <laughs> I, I'm going to attack this draw with advantage with Talon. Ugh. And I am going to use my last spell slot to bring forth rain and terror on this uh, dastardly dark elf. Oh my goodness, 21 damage and she's still up. Oh my goodness, she is a badass. Um, still up, but not, not by a lot. And uh, she like drops to a knee after that, that vicious downward strike of Talon and is, uh, uh, you, you think she's trying to back up as, you know, her, it's not her turn yet, but when it's her turn, yeah. you think she might be, might be backing up and, and kind of holding, holding her side to keep her guts from spilling out. So put your weapons way. down. All of you put your weapons down and you will live another day. <laughs> uh, you, Werner, you hear, you hear in your mind, a, a, a voice <laughs> and it's, it's not a female voice, but it's not a male voice either. It's just kind of weird and androgynous sounding. But you know it's the Dark Elf. And mm. you hear her say, um, surely we can negotiate about your poor dwarf friend over there. Mm. I'm willing to negotiate. It sounds like she's Irish. 
Hmm. <laughs> All right, Trax, what, what do you want to do? You'll never get me lucky charms. Um, so this is bonkers. I've never been able to use this spell because it would always hurt my friends. But I've decided screw everybody except myself. No, actually, I want to use Thunder Wave. A thunder Wave will emanate. Or let me read it to you. Uh, it a wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you, and each creature in a 15-foot cube originating from you must make a Constitution saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you. And on a successful save, they take half as much damage but isn't pushed. So just okay. to make sure I can do this, here was my thought. Hold on. So my thought was to 15-foot cube from me, emanating from me. So my thought was to move uh, around, but I have to get next to this dwarf. But I'm going to I'm gonna end up – if it's successful, I'm going to end up moving her away from me anyway so I could still you know, be around. So I'm going to move 30. as such and then i am going to uh do thunder wave does that sound like a plan okay that you can do that absolutely all right so i'm going to actually select both of these characters and then i'm going to click the thunder wave cast thunder wave which should do the save automatically and then i'll apply their damage it should, but before, hold on, hold oh, on. Sorry, I had already clicked it before you surprised me no, with the no. before. Hold on, hold on. Uh, you're going to get an attack of opportunity from Snarl <clears throat> because you're going into his his area of control and then you're leaving it. Wait, which side? Because I came in at an angle here and then I came around. And and King Kroll, is, you're also leaving his area of control. Okay, well that so sucks. So if you, if you want to do that, you're going to take two, two attacks of opportunity. Yeah, I probably don't want to do that from those guys because I'll just get killed. Because I've only got probably twenty hit points. Okay, all right, no worries. Now, now the way the way I interpret Shoot. the the uh, fifteen foot cube emanating from you is that you're on the edge of one of those uh, one of the, the yeah, edges you of could, the cube. Yeah, you would stand right up above me to so be able to do that. So if you're right there. Yeah, you, you, that's the same. That's how that cube would would manifest. So oh, but like, it says a wow. uh, okay. So it says a creature in a fifteen foot cube originating from you. So in my mind, I was thinking I'd be in the right, center of you it. Would be in the yeah. center of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the way I interpret it. Uh, okay. Let's see. So that means I can be. Yeah. Yeah. So that would but, be good. I could be here. Snarl will still get an attack from me. 